car of Amazing Wizard Studios. You know what? This is an update on the Need for Speed High Stakes gameplay walkthrough on the PC. In fact, I know it's been a long time since the first part of that walkthrough was recorded, but I've been having difficulties. When I was trying to record the second part of that walkthrough, something went wrong. The first time around, there was an annoying pop-up appearing near the end of one of the race, oh yeah, of an attempt in a tournament and I couldn't close it without exiting the game entirely. And this, the second time around, my capture card, my, the capture card was using and got disconnected and I lost signal. And, and when I got seen again, the game crashed. I know. If you wonder what capture card is being used for this walkthrough, it's an Elgato Game Capture HD60. And I, was, and I was also too lazy to try to record there again because the laptop I used to record the first part is not too powerful. Yup, it's the HP laptop I've had since September 2016. Yeah, it specs are mediocre, I suppose. In fact, it's just 6 gigs of RAM and a not so powerful AMD processor as well as only a 1366x768 display. I know. In fact, the walkthrough is being recorded in 1080p at 60 frames per second. Yeah, what I think I need would be a much more powerful lap, like a gaming laptop, but I think that's about it. I think like everything else would be the same. The capture card vision will still be the same and so would the resolution frame rate at which the last two the game to walk to will be recorded. Yeah. The desktop I'm using to play the game will still be the same too. Yeah, I hope you stay tuned for the next part of the Need for Speed High Stakes gameplay walk from the PC. All right, don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button and comment for future content. Also, don't forget to follow Amazing Wizards Studios on social media. This is Carl of Amazing Wizards Studios signing out. Peace.